What's going on everybody? I'm going to show you guys how to use the sauce script. Now, this script has been um, created over a good amount of time here. And I've used lots of different materials. Anodized aluminum, enamel coated aluminum, painted aluminum, two color plastics, you know, yellow to black, white to black, black to white. Um, birch plastic, it's, uh, it looks like birch wood, but it turns black underneath. Wood, all kinds, of, all kinds of different stuff, guys. Tile, you name it. Um, so yeah, first things first is you're going to want to get to this actions menu and I'm going to show you guys just how to install your script here. Uh, to get to this actions menu, you're going to go to window and you'll go to actions, okay? And when you click on actions, you'll get this window that pops up. Okay, make sure you're on your actions tab here and then select this menu and you will hit load actions and that's you're gonna go search your downloads folder or whatever wherever you put the script when you downloaded it and unzipped it with WinRAR or WinZip just extract it to a directory somewhere on your computer it could be your desktop or whatnot but what you'll be left with is an ATN file and that's what you're going to be searching for when you press load actions. So you're going to look for the saw script and you'll press load on it. Once you get it in, you'll have this little drop down here. Okay, you can't click this and press play, it won't let you. So you got to drop it down and then select this, okay? And then you can press play. Now, this image we're going to do on that uh, faux Baltic birch plastic. And we're going to do this at 250 DPI to show you guys that it, it saves a lot of time because it's 250 DPI. You know, it's going to finish way faster than something, let's say, of, uh, 600 DPI. So, we're going to save time. But usually, you know, you're like, oh, you know, cutting corners. Well, this I balanced out very well. I've burned several photos, several, several, and it's very well balanced. So you're not you're not really bargaining much off of the quality end of the spectrum, and uh, you know time is money. So, anyways, let's get to it. Once we get our photo in, we're going to come up here and go to image image size and I set it at 250 and it's going to be this specific height because I'm going to use a scrap piece of this uh, birch wood plastic and uh, so that's why it's going to be this size. So press OK and this is our photo here and now all we have to do is come over here and press play. It's going to do everything for you and it's, it's pretty quick. Here's a little message I put in here for you guys to read about. Check it out if you'd like. Press continue. And now we are uh, it's processing the photo for you right now. Okay, so if we zoom out a little bit, you might say, oh, it looks funky right here. Yeah, it does. It does look funky. But I'll tell you what, it works very well. Now, now when you start zooming out, you can start seeing how it's really going to probably look in person if, if you can burn all these details. And it's not going to be that hard to burn all these details because it's only 250 DPI, so it's very simple. So this is about, you know, how it's going to 
actually look in person here, somewhere between this area. Here's a 100% zoom here. You can see even the darkest blacks that you're still looking for detail within those dark blacks when you're burning them on your substrate. If it's too black right here, that means you have too much power, you're going too slow, or your focus is off a little bit. Never trust your focus gauge. Always uh, try to manually focus it if you can. If you have a motorized Z table, you can bump it one millimeter per press of a button while it's running, then you can really fine tune your focus. But again, it's 250 DPI, so this isn't going to be a problem to hit because I have balanced this with the whites also. So you can see that the brightest whites up here in the sky, you see there's details in here now where it's not just going to burn away super bright white, okay? Now, it's, when it's burning, it's, you're going to tell that this is a white spot in the sky, but it's going to have some detail in it, so you're not just washing this out with super bright whites, you know, because then you don't have to balance. You have blown out whites and, you know, too dark of blacks, so the balance is, is really nice on it. So it really helps out. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit more here and show you guys uh, what we're going to look, want it to look like when we're done burning it. This is what we're left with. So you're going to go ahead and save as. And you're going to save it as a BMP. Okay. And after that, you're going to come over in the light burn. Now, I just got done doing this this here photo of my wife here that I processed. It's 250 DPI. We can go check out the settings. <clears throat> See here, 250 DPI. It's very important that you're going to use pass through. You're going to want this little button here to, to be green. And if, and if you're picky, you don't really have to do this, but I just do. It's good practice, I guess. Thorough. Turn back on pass-through mode. Give it some settings. Press OK. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because uh, my project that I'm working on right now that I just did here just finished and it's cut. So, here's my image layer and here's my cut layer. My cut layer. Okay, so after it burns the image, it's going to go and cut the shape out. So I just drew that with a little square here. Most of you guys probably know that, but, you know, just for anybody just starting out, and that's a good little tip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let me go save this photo. Okay, so we'll name this script tutorial. Okay. All right, now make sure it says one bit in Windows. Press OK. Now it saves. Now we can bring it in the light burn here. Here it is. And I'm going to turn it to my black layer here. And I'm going to open up the settings. And I'm going to load the, uh, the file I just did of my wife and see what my power settings ended up being at. Give me a moment, guys. It's loading the photo. I might even have to hit start real quick to see where the power is at. It's probably somewhere in that area.
I can't ever leave good enough alone. So, okay, we're at 121 and 11.1% power. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do on this one. And that's where we're going to start at. It might change, it might not. So I'm going to go ahead and send that now. And we will name this... the sauce. Okay, we'll send that over to the machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get on my cell phone. And uh, you know, you guys see the, the sauce on the machine there. We'll watch it in action. I got to go uh, clean up the one I just did and then set up the substrate for this burn here. So uh, it's on the machine now. Um, and we'll come back and get this burned. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.